weird topic weird topic and weird kind of analysis that maybe only i've kind of gleaned from it that might make some sense here but i'm sure some of you have seen the news over the last couple of days that justin timberlake has sold his music catalog for 100 million dollars right and this has been something that's been happening i feel like for the last year or two especially during covid a lot of big time musicians have been basically selling their cat music catalogs to nondescript investment funds and whatnot and um, venture capitalist people and whatnot and it feels like you know most of the people who are selling it are selling it as a way of like kind of cashing out because they maybe feel like you know at the moment their career is not going the way they want it to be they're not maybe as relevant or maybe as you know out out there in terms of the you know putting out music and performing all these festivals and stuff so if you're not out there competing with everybody at the moment and somebody comes up to you you know kind of a quote-unquote legacy actor wants to give you 50 million plus for your music catalog then it might be a good time to kind of cash in on it because you never know your music catalog could be worth absolutely zilch going forward which it probably won't be but i see what the temptation especially if you own your masters it seems like a quite a pretty good payday and if you're an artist and you feel like you're incredibly creative you're probably betting yourself anyway to be able to make a 50 million dollars worth more of good songs in the next 20 years or so unlikely but you you can bet on yourself that way but with the justin timberlake one i think it's interesting because it reminds me a little bit i'm linking this a little bit to the clip that went viral of justin timberlake at the um what do you think is what's what's that what's that festival called that pharrell does something in the water there's a clip of justin timberlake performing at something in the water where he's dancing right he's doing a little bit of a freestyle improv kind of quote-unquote dancing and people absolutely ripping him in the comments like oh my god he's horrible um i can't believe um we sacrificed janet for this guy britney we're sorry like just horrible comments about his dancing because obviously he looks pretty terrible doesn't look like the same justin we knew when we were kind of growing up and seeing him perform um obviously because he's a dad now and he's a 40 plus year old man and he probably hasn't been out there doing his thing for a while and he just looked a bit dad body a little bit stiff a little bit crappy a little bit whatever maybe he just wasn't off night who knows but it also got me thinking in general about his reputation as a person and maybe these sort of like investment funds things that are going around they have people on their boards who contribute to them who are very intelligent people who are probably looking at identifying and picking off these big time artists who are kind of going through a bit of a crisis in public image or pers public reputation whatever it may be they're not probably the best of time they're not, they're not probably having the bestest of times on social people maybe don't really rate them too much i think justin has been going through it with the whole justin um the whole sorry janet jackson i think had a documentary coming out soon recently i think so and it, i think it just highlighted and made people aware of what happened when you know the whole nipple tip thing happened at that halftime show <clears throat> obviously britney spears is ongoing issues there's been a lot of you know conversations around her relationship with Justin at the time too. There was a viral video that went around of some guy harassing Justin Timberlake outside of his hotel room when he was trying to get back in and stuff and saying some stuff about Britney. And then that video went viral of him and something in the water. It just feels like at the moment, Justin hasn't been, he's not necessarily looked at as great as he was back in the day. And if that's the case and people don't necessarily care for you, and then he had this whole thing going on with his wife at the time, right? Where I think he was pictured holding some woman's hand and he'd go through that scandal and whatnot. And I think, you know, Jessica was stood by him. So obviously women hate when that happens because it essentially makes the guy look like an absolute dog. Um, but in general, he's not going through the best of time in public in terms of his um, reputation. So it maybe feels like this group that came in and bought his masters for a hundred million, they might have run off with some highway robbery because they basically pounced on him just when he was his most vulnerable. Or is it's a real good lick because in general we haven't heard anything good from Justin in a long time. That album he made called Man in the Woods was absolutely trash. Um None of his music hits the same way they did before in the past. Whether or not he's writing amazing records for other artists that we don't know about, I'm not too sure. But his own music hasn't been hitting for a while. So did Justin Timberlake hit a lick because he's not the artist that he once was? Or because times have moved on? Or did this group absolutely hustle him because they're able to pounce on him when he was at his most vulnerable is because people just aren't liking him too tough as a person? I wonder. But anyway, the article says as follows. More eternity musician Justin Timberlake is feeling suit and tie vibes. A private fund um, bought his entire music catalog for 100 million. However, Justin Timberlake only gets a bulk of that if he owns it, which he does. Um, a private uh, fund backed by investment management firm Blackstone Inc., which sounds like one of those weird, shady 
practices and businesses that were linked to flipping Jeffrey Epstein and shit, innit? Um, BX purchased Justin Timberlake's music catalogue for an approximately $100 million. The deal went through between the private fund and the music investment company called Hip um, Hip, Gon, Hip Jonas, Hip Jonas Sony Management um, Limited. The parties weren't, haven't disclosed the details of the deal. The move is part of a large deal be, uh, between Blackstone and, and Hip Go, hip genosis, right? Hip genosis, yeah. Hip genosis. In October 21, 20, 2021, sorry, Blackstone agreed to invest a collective one billion in hip genosis to acquire and manage music catalogs. Blackstone is sending the involved deals through an unnamed private fund, which, repos- which reportedly holds nine hundred million billion in assets under management. This fund also has a stake in hip genosis as part of the deal. The Timberlake deal consists of two hundred songs that the artist wrote or co-wrote, beginning in his early days in nineteen nineties and early aughts um, with boy band and sync perhaps most interestingly Justin Timberlake is 41 years old much younger than artists who sell their catalogs to manage their states like I think Bob Dylan and late Leonard Cohen which is true but I still think he's 41 in our years but he's probably like 50 in flipping musician years do you know what I mean he's been around for a long long time what does it mean for his own masters what does it mean, sorry, to own masters? A master's recording is the original recording of the song, which the producer can copy to various different purposes. An artist's music catalog is made up of the master recordings. When an artist owns their masters, they are free to use and sell and capitalize on their music. They can also license their music to third parties, allowing various forms of media. This is also why I'm hoping this deal like many other deals that are made public can also be a wake-up call to a lot of people in hip-hop who are like always sign shitty deals because i'm getting tired of that whole common trope of like i'm a guy from the hood i don't know how to read contracts i was duped they signed me for a nickel and they, they signed me for a thousand pound in the burger it's like you shouldn't be that dumb and naive anymore even if you're broke to be able or be willing to accept that kind of money especially for your art like i don't do much right i dj here and there i do a podcast and it's not that intrusive it's not that hard it's not that taxing whatever it may be but i can't imagine being an artist sitting down writing raps putting together a song thinking of compositions producing it um, mastering it all that stuff it takes long to do right especially if you've got people involved as well then to just be so blasé about who you're signed to and not take any precautions to maybe get it read over by a lawyer or just to sit down for yourself and read it for a flipping day <coughs> personally i never got it I always think it's an excuse to cop out people being lazy. And I feel like now, with this sort of deal, especially with Justin Timberlake only being 40, or 41, sorry, it should be a wake-up call for people to say that, hey, this man was able to make this much amount of money from his art because from a very early age, he realised how important it was to write your own stuff <clears throat> and to own your own stuff. And he's essentially being rewarded for it because now at the time where in his life he maybe isn't the most well-liked person in the world, he's still able to command that level of um, respect when it comes to the deal because of what he'd done prior and because he owns everything, right? He's able to kind of command that respect in terms of the fee and stuff. And that's obviously going to help him do other things in the future he wants to do. Maybe he'll secure the future of his family from generations to come. It might be an investment to do other things. Who knows? But regardless, I think, this hopefully should serve as a wake up for the people. A, don't sign shitty deals, and B, try and write as much as your own stuff as possible. It continues. Only mother uh, did just only own his masters before the deal. Lana base traded. Uh, we don't. He probably did. Let's not convince that. But yeah. Anyway, that's basically what I was trying to basically say with the whole thing. So I'm not really too sure. Did did Justin get hoodwinked because? this blackstone group were able to tell that he was suffering out there on in the old twitter spaces and social media and shit or did he actually run off on a plug and this smile is all the way warranted because he knows he ain't got another good song in him so the fact that someone wanted to pay him 100 million for his old songs he's like all laughing away to the bank i don't know i don't know